My name is Rosa Alcazar. I'm a biology instructor here at Close Community College, and I'm a first-generation college graduate. I grew up both here and in Mexico, so I came back my senior year of high school, and I found myself on my own very, very soon. Just as soon as I got graduated from high school, I got a job, a full-time job, and it wasn't until a few years later that I found out that you could actually go to school even if you didn't go to school right out of high school. Uh, and so I just started taking classes, night classes, while I worked full time. And then my units started to accumulate and I started to think, maybe I could do something with this. <laughs> yeah. And I took biology for non-majors and I fell in love with the class. And so I had to take math again because now it wasn't math for business, now it was math for science. And I had to take chemistry, and I was very scared that I wasn't gonna be able to do it. But I found an instructor, specifically one instructor, before I made that switch, that, in, that uh, just gave me the confidence. He said, you could do anything you want. It doesn't matter if you started here, you can go anywhere you want. So he, he pushed me a lot to think big and to pursue uh, bigger opportunities. And then I transferred to UC Riverside. Um, after that, I, I applied for summer research opportunities and I went, I pre-med opportunities. And when I looked at both, I decided on doing research. And I applied to uh, great schools, UC Berkeley, Johns Hopkins University, UC Davis, UC San Diego. Um, I got accepted into three of those and I decided to go to Johns Hopkins University. Then after Johns Hopkins University, um, I joined a lab that moved to Stanford. Um, my advisor uh, was recruited to Stanford and he actually later won the Nobel Prize in 2006. And then I decided to move, because of my subject, I decided to move uh, into a different subject, but I stayed at Stanford to do a second postdoc. From going from uh, high school straight into a job, not thinking that I could possibly get into academia, to actually doing research and talking with Nobel Prize winners, what a, what a life change, right? And also, one of the hardest things is I didn't know anybody with a college degree within my uh, circle. Um, and it's hard, and I, I tell my students, you know, this is normal. There's nothing wrong with you if you're spending 15 hours a week on this class. That is absolutely normal. That is what it takes to learn this material in 17 weeks. Uh, because I don't want them to get discouraged that they might not be good enough for it. I know that they are, uh, but the discipline sometimes takes a little bit longer. My name is Evelyn and I am a first generation Latina student and I am a business major. You know, Professor Alcazar had an energy about her. Um, I never missed a class and most students miss at least one or two classes throughout the semester and she made it really easy to want to attend that class. Biology 5 was hard. Um, as you know, I am a business major and so the material learned wasn't necessarily something in my head originally that I thought I was going to use in my future. Um, but what I learned in Professor Alcazar's class, which is something that I'm using currently and I plan on using for the rest of my school career, is um, study groups. She emphasized study groups and the tutorial center um, and different learning methods. And that's something that I had never been exposed to and it was a game changer. So first generation college students uh, in, my, in my class, they do come because I, at the beginning of my semester, I tell them a little bit about me. And I tell them, this is, this is my uh, trajectory and I make it short because you know it's not about me. But I say, okay, here are some of my transition. Here's, here's the range of my experience. Here's where I come from. If you have any questions about any of these transitions, 
don't hesitate to come see me. Um, whether it's the cultural thing, where it's uh, female in science, um, you know, whether it's working financial reasons. So there's different ideas about whether you should take out loans or not. Some students come and ask me about that. And I just tell them my personal experience, and that was I need to invest in myself. And I need to uh, delay earning minimum wage now so that I can have a choice of what I want to do in the future. And that's going to cost me now in some ways, but it's going to benefit me and others. My name is Dani Enriquez. Um, I'm a biology and engineering major at Clovis Community College, and I will be transferring uh, to a UC um, to become a biomedical engineer. I think one of the ways that I've grown um, because of her class is that after every test, she makes us test, make us take this uh, self-assessment. Like after she gives us a grade and she's like, you know, different questions about like, how did you do in the test? Is it the grade that you were expecting? Um, and at the beginning of the class, she also like have us write down like our grade that we wanted to get in the class. And after every test, she's like, is this still the grade you want? Is this still, still like, uh, you know, is this still accomplishable for you at this point? So after looking at all that and after every test, you're like, okay, this is still, you know, still re constantly reminding yourself of your own goals that you set for yourself at the beginning of the class. And even, you know, she, might, she makes you also answer questions like, why are you not getting the grades that you expect? Is it family, friends, other classes, different, reasons that you might not be accomplishing what you expect yourself to accomplish at the beginning of the semester. It's just, I feel like I really, she really taught me that if I keep looking back at my main goals and evaluating myself of why I'm not accomplishing what I'm supposed to be accomplishing, or if I am, it just makes me more successful in my personal goals. So what I, I'm teaching right now, biology for majors, and I incorporated a module in there and um, in partnership with Johns Hopkins University and the Carnegie Institute of Washington. And we are providing students with data sets from uh, Dr. Spelling's lab uh, so that they can look at uh, differential expression analysis. Basically, they look at data from different tissues and compare them. And this is basically the future of biology. If you choose to take biology with Professor Alcazar, the first thing that she will let you know the first day of class is you can do it. Um, and knowing that your professor believes in you and reminds you throughout the semester is so important. And honestly, there were days where I didn't think I could do it. The first two weeks, I didn't think I could do it. And she pushed us and she pushed me and I am very thankful because I got an A. <laughs> And I've had students who, who failed, not necessarily with me, but, and sometimes with me, who have failed and retaken the class. And they've done well. And they are like, they are on a cloud. <laughs> because, like, I had this one student in her self-assessment say, I am able to change my F to a B, a B and I was gonna change my major, but now I know I can do it. And I'm just like, this is why I like my job. <laughs>